Well, I have with me one of the most exciting fast bowlers in world cricket right now, KG Rabada. KG, um, firstly, congratulations on becoming the number one test bowler. Um, you know, you were brilliant in the previous test match as well. But looking back, uh, there was a time when Pakistan was 100 for one. What was the dressing room talk like at that point? How did you guys manage to turn things around to get the nine wickets in that session? Yeah, we thought we bowled very well and we thought we were a bit unlucky but the, the Pakistan batsmen showed some good re resilience and we just needed to do the same thing. And coming back um, into the last session of the day, we knew that we just had to keep chipping away and uh, we knew that once we get one or two, uh, we could cause some serious uh, threat to the middle order. Um, now we saw that Barbara Razam scored that 71 in the first innings and you got his wicket both times. Um, the second innings uh, wicket of course was quite special because you bowled him out. So what was the bowling plan at that point? Um, the ball wasn't really moving a lot, bowling at seam up. So I just tried something different and then the ball just moved a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it was one of those... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think I think yeah, he's a, he's a very good player, and we needed to get him out. Sometimes you just have to try something different um, if something's not really working at the time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm really glad that it worked. So one of the main differences, uh, KG, a bit in the last match was obviously the difference that the tail added when you compare Pakistan to South Africa, and you had that amazing partnership with uh, Quinton de Kock. So is that something that you specifically work on as well? I think it's important for us to make sure that we contribute as a tail that adds miles to the fielding team's legs and it's just a bit of an irritation to them as well so it's good for us you know we, we take pride in, in the way we, we bat. Now one of the things that's very inspiring on your part is of course um, your fitness. Um, you know we've seen that you've come back spell after spell and you've bowled in with the same amount of energy um, and you know I mean what do you do I mean for all the uh, people that are looking up to you how do you maintain yourself so well? Um, I think it's important maybe these days to see a fitness trainer. The game has become a lot more professional. Um, if you want to you know you have to try and sacrifice um, on the foods that you eat, that, that always helps.